Hey everybody, welcome back to Awaken Geekdom, Geo here, and today we're doing three short anime series that you should watch. This was a special request from one of my friends, one of my viewers from the channel that was asking me, hey, can you recommend me some shows that are uh, easier to watch, like 12 episode type shows, little to none, fan service, stuff like that that's easier to digest? I'm like, yeah, I got you, bro, of course. So here we go, three recent solid anime recommendations that I highly suggest you check out. In the far future, humanity has been driven to the brink of extinction by the emergence of an unknown life form called Gadol. The humans that have survived now live in a 3,000 meter high mobile fortress called Decadence, built to protect themselves from the Gadol threat. Inside Decadence are Gears, warriors that fight the Gadol on a daily basis, and Tankers, those without the skills to fight. Our story kicks off with the character of Natsume, a tanker girl with dreams of becoming a gear, and her fateful meeting of Kaburagi, an armor repairman of the Decadence. Nut Studios made a name for itself with the adaptation of Saga of Tanya the Evil as well as the sequel to Fully Cooly Alternative. Decadence has wonderful animation with pretty dynamic, fluid action scenes, a bright color palette with well-designed characters, and an original story that invokes a lot of modern fan-favorite science fiction tales, while finding new and exciting ways to tell compelling stories about human survival. One particular twist right from the second episode really sets this show apart from a lot of things you might have already watched. It sets the tone for the remainder of the plot and makes you realize that not everything is as it should. In the middle of this, we have a wonderful main character called Natsume. Tragic origins aside, she is the shining beacon of the story, in an otherwise dark, grim, and gritty environment with the possible end of the human race, Natsume's interactions, hopes, and aspirations, as well as her sense of humor and devotion to her cause, make you root for these people to survive. At just 12 episodes, this series has a lot of heart, action, and cool human-to-alien fights. Taking inspiration from the fighting mechanics of Tanya, Decadence goes further with the craziness to deliver a high-octane anime with a great story. Mari Tamaki is in her second year of high school and wants to make the most of her youth, but is too afraid to do so. One fateful day, she meets Shirase Kobuchisawa, a girl who has been saving up to travel to Antarctica where her mother disappeared three years ago. Joined by two other girls, Hinata Miyake and Suzuki Shiraishi, they join an expedition headed towards the frigid Arctic. Another stellar production from Madhouse, a place further than the universe pulls at your heartstrings while entertaining and making you laugh. This series is a beautifully crafted tale of one person's determination and endearing spirit. Born out of a need and desperation to know the truth of what happened to her mother, Shirase embarks on an otherwise impossible journey. Some folks would say the events that follow are a happenstance of sorts, but I'd like to think it was more than that. The main role in this show is divided between two characters, Shirase, which I've already mentioned, as well as Mari, a curious young girl that is seeking adventure in her life as well as a deeper sense of being. Taking a leap of faith in a budding friendship, she learns about Chirase's goal of traveling to Antarctica and helps that plan come to fruition, seeing it as an opportunity of growth and enrichment. The creators of the show go out of their way to explain how a group of high schoolers would get the opportunity to travel to such a remote place in a nice, believable way. The art is absolutely gorgeous. The backgrounds, ship designs, and just the overall scenery in this story can be quite breathtaking. I didn't mention all the characters in this video, but they are all wonderfully crafted, each with a problem of their own which gets explored as the journey ensues. A place further than the universe is a wholesome experience that I highly recommend. At only 13 episodes, you get a fully fledged group of girls that definitely leave an impression on you. Their perseverance and determination to see their goals fulfilled is worthy of admiration and will remind you that time really is short in this world. And you've got to take that risk. You've got to take that leap of faith and find out the truth behind your own questions.
Inspired by her favorite book, Elena ventures out to see the world she's read so much about, traveling from one country to the next, looking to say to her inquisitiveness, searching for new experiences, exploring the strange, emotional, weird world of witches, magic, and so much more. One of my favorite shows from 2020 was Wandering Witch, The Journey of Elena. It's a much needed breath of fresh air if you ask me, and it was expertly adapted by the folks at C2C. We follow the young witch Elena as she earns her title, and very quickly this story goes into an episodic format as our young protagonist travels around the world meeting different people, and it is in those travels that we really see the wholesomeness and thought-provoking nature of the story. Just like real life, the world is vast, with a myriad of individuals all searching for happiness and the fulfillment of their dreams and aspirations. Some of their intentions may be noble in heart, others not so much. Our lead character weaves through their lives and stories, a watcher of sorts, keeping tabs on their journeys, writing down on her own book, emulating her favorite author. Elena may be a prodigy, but through her journey, she develops things essential to any person, empathy and compassion. This show is wonderfully drawn with some of the most gorgeous backgrounds I've ever seen in any animated show or movie. The world comes alive with every scene, inviting you in to learn about these characters as they go around living their lives. Easily the best work that C2C has done so far, fabulous character designs, and a beautiful, delicate musical score that accentuates the delicacies of a story like this. You will laugh, you will cry, you will be fearful, and admire the stories witnessed by our wandering witch. There you go, folks. Three recommendations for shorter series that I highly recommend. If you want to see another video like this with three more recommendations, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you, everybody, for liking, commenting, subscribing, being a part of a week in geekdom. It really does mean a whole lot. Thank you, everybody. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.